Well, happy Friday to you. We're back to show you the finish and how we're going to create a brand new looking car seat right here on this Toyota Land Cruiser. I had the name wrong yesterday. Sorry if I offended all you Toyota people. I know this Land Cruiser is a great car. It's been around for a long time. And if you saw us do the repair on this seat yesterday, you're gonna see me right now show you how to get finished with this process. It's been drying overnight and the repair looks incredible. And uh, I'm gonna be putting on the beautiful color from our RestoreCoat.com line. And this color is, as you can see, a beautiful gray. And this is charcoal. And uh, I don't have my camera reversed tonight because it's difficult to figure out where I'm at in the shot. So I gotta turn it the right way so I can keep a grip on my camera angle and stay out of it so you can see what I'm doing. So I've already given this a good stir. I'm gonna be using the brush and the roll technique. And I think it's the best way to get the greatest results using these products and I hope I can stay with my camera not flaring up here. And uh, again, if you're just coming on to this live, I want you to say hello, and I'd love to know who you are. Are you familiar with these products? And if you'd like to try the all-in-one paint, which is just the uh, sister to this product, it's all the same product. We uh, use this one for our automobile line. There's nine great colors in the Restore Coat line, as well as our Bond & Flex product, which we call Restore Compound. So if that's not confusing enough, we'll help you understand. There's just these simple nine colors, and they're simple names, like the name here, Charcoal, and that way that you can understand them for cars a little bit easier than our fun names over in the all-in-one paint but we're glad to send you a sample of all-in-one paint just comment right here below we'll send you a link to get into our group and there's also a group for the restore coat products and uh, i'll send you that link too if you're interested in getting in that group but i want to show you how this works so gonna take very little product this court will do this entire car along with the door panels and pretty much every surface in it and that would give it two coats but i'm going to put it on right here and show you how it works so I'm trying to get my light adjusted and not always easy to do, but hopefully you can see there's a lot of wear where someone has slid in and out right here. And if you can't see, take your finger and just move your comments over on your phone. Just push them out of the way. And I've been using our great little roller and this is going to give me actual non brushed on looking results. And I'll just go right to this, right to it right here. You're going to see this is a fabulous match and that you're not even gonna be able to see where I just painted that using the roller just to back roll over this. It's up to you if you wanna cover the whole seat. And I'm assuming I'm gonna paint the whole thing and make it look like brand new. I've taken really good photos of this and I have a great video of it to show you the true before and after. That way I won't be in the shot interfering with it. So I think he's gonna be blown away when he sees how fantastic this looks. I have a steering wheel that we have repaired as well as a driver's seat. You can see the repair on the steering wheel there, I think. Maybe it's not in your shot there. But nevertheless, there's also a tear, which is kind of odd. I'm sure something has gotten caught there through the years on the actual door pocket. And it had torn the material there along with the actual structure underneath. So I repaired that also. So I can't wait to show you what that looks like. It's a very smooth surface. It's been laminated with the vinyl, so it matches that door panel. So I put the product inside of it, outside of it as well. So it's got some strength there. I've sanded it back already, so it's ready for the paint. So I'll, show you, I'll share that with you in just a minute. I'm going to keep on painting on this seat. This again is a beautiful match. I'll paint some here just so you can get an idea. This doesn't even need any paint, but I'm just going to show you how great this matches. That's not always going to be the case. You're not always going to get a true match, but there are a lot of great automotive colors. You can also custom match them. I just advise you if you are going to custom match a color to your interior, that you mix up enough so you won't have the problem of trying to recreate the color again. So we just kind of know one quart will pretty much do any vehicle. And um, you get, again, fabulous results by using this little tiny sponge or the true applicator, whichever you have on hand. But this one makes it easy because it goes over big flat surfaces so quick and easy. There's some wear marks here on the front of the seat. I've got it pulled all the way to the front so I can get it into the shot a little easier for you. I'm just putting on a nice coat of paint and I'm just rolling back through it. So I'm not applying it with a roller, just using the dry roller to roll through and then give me a non brushed on effect of this product. I already cleaned the seat yesterday using the prep product, our deglosser. And if you want to get a kit of this product, you can log on to our website, look for the Restore Coat products or just go to RestoreCoat.com. You can still check out there as well. You can get the Bond & Flex product, Restore Compound, whatever you want to call it. You can get that on the RestoreCoat.com Restore website. All the products are there in a kit so you can get the tools, the spreader, 
You can get the compound as well as the paint of your choice to create your kit to repair anything in your car. So anyway, there you go. That's a 2007 vehicle and the seats are gonna look like brand new along with the door panel. I'm gonna make a quick trip around those two. And I'm gonna try to show you something else here. There's a panel uh, underneath here that has the, the speaker in it and it's a mesh, even though it's fabric, it will stiffen fabric obviously, but who cares, I'm never gonna be touching that. You can paint carpet. Some people ask often, can you paint the carpet? in the car and you know what you can so why not if you can you're not going to be down touching that carpet yes it will stiffen the carpet but will it make it better than what it was yes see what that can do to that little door panel you can't see what i'm doing here but i'll show you on the other side this guy looks so good already let's move this out of the way and also the armrest has some spots there i'll just touch that right on the end you can't see that i'm sure catch the whole thing there so that will look like brand new along the side of the chair here too and pardon me for being in the shot there's no way to get out of it doing a car not possible I have already determined and it's really where you want to stop with this the sheen is going to match beautiful to the existing leather that you see now. So easy to match up these colors. This is again, a, this is called charcoal. And automobile colors, even though you're thinking, oh, my car's gray on the inside or whatever. If you use the all-in-one paint, you'll find that a lot of those colors, even though you have gray in there, they're kind of intense, they're a little too bright. So that's why it was important for us to create the Restore Coat brand and give you grays there that are more muted, more toned down, that are what are in your automobile. And you don't realize that until you paint inside of a car, then you go, wow, that is really bright. Um, whites and so on. There's a bone, that bone is also beautiful in your kitchen. So the automobile colors transfer over easily into the, into the home, but those, um, home colors don't always transfer into the car so easily. So there's one other reason that we created the other nine colors. So just to give you an idea. All right, can you see where I've even been? This seat looks so good. And my friend Mitch is on his way down here and he's going to be helping me on the other side. I'm hoping he gets here so he can see what's going on here. Now, if you don't want to paint the entire seat, you can do just what I'm doing, just kind of feathering it back. If you've got a good match like we do here, I'm just using it where I need it, putting the product on, and then feathering it back into the other areas, which works excellent. I want to bring you around so you can see the door panel. Let's see if I can switch sides with you here and get a better camera angle. Let's see if I can get you down here. Pardon me for this mess because we are right back in the warehouse here Let's see if we can do any touch up here this one doesn't look too bad this was the panel i was showing you here this one on the driver's side probably is just a good clean clean up and it's going to look excellent so i'm not going to bother that one there's no need there's no need of painting it if it doesn't need it so i'm going to go over to the other side and you just have to roll with me guys just roll you right back over there and uh, take you right around the bend here so we can go to the other side and I'm going to show you what we have done already with the repair compound and see if we can get a good camera angle here. Might be a little darker. I believe we're going to be just fine. So I've already used the electric hand sander here to give it a good smooth finish and you'll be able to tell exactly where we are in just a second here as I try to uh, Getting a good angle. Let me see if I can switch sides. This is not easy, guys. All right, just say something. If you're new to our products, I would love to share uh, the information about them and give you more info. If you need it, just comment right here in this timeline and I will send you a link to join our great group as well as learn more about these fantastic products to restore pretty much every surface in and out of your home, including your car. So let's get a coat on this seat. Putting it on, brushing it out, and then rolling back through it. 
Now here on the repair where it's lighter, where it's a white background, that's gonna take two coats obviously, and I will probably do a third. And the reason being is, this is where the vehicle is gonna take the most wear, and he's gonna slide in and out of here, in and out. So that's gonna to continue to always wear on this area. So we wanna put on enough coats that we have a great wear layer. And that's what we're gonna do by adding another coat of this beautiful charcoal gray and keep it looking great for the longest. If it begins to show when you wear, you've always got the product to go in there and just touch up and keep it looking like new. So hit the armrest. Make sure I'm not in your way. I'm back here working on this by myself. I don't have my little sidekick with me today. She's up front. She's packing orders still, as many people are in our second shift. Trying to get them out the door. All right, so there you go. We'll let that dry just a bit, and I'll come back to that. So yesterday, if you didn't see, this whole area, this whole line had a seam about this big, and it had about that much foam sticking out of it. And uh, this whole area was full of just natural leather cracks and had started to look bad just from all the years of just sliding in and out. Just the animal cracks itself, just uh, the nature of leather over time. So. I think he's gonna be blown away when he walks in here and sees that in just a minute. So I'm gonna paint the steering wheels if I can get a better angle on that. And this steering wheel had had a piece right here that had actually worn all the way through to the bottom of the material that the, that the uh, steering wheel was made of. And of course, it's wrapped in leather. So when you have a leather wrapped steering wheel, you can see there's like a lacing stitching underneath that they lay that leather cover over and sew it underneath. And that's how they're gonna get a wrap over the actual plastic steering wheel. And that had worn completely through. So we're gonna give him a brand new looking steering wheel. Can't wait till he sees the hat. Cause that would have been something that would irritate your hand because that's exactly where you hold it all the time. So just put it on and roll through it. I am not putting on a ton of product. There's no need. It has great coverage and it is a permanent solution. So. If you're wondering, is this temporary? Is this gonna wear off on your clothes? It will not wear off on your clothes. It is a permanent covering and coloring for your car, your boat, your anything. You, anything you want to repair, I'm gonna say it will work for. Furniture, inside, outside uses, wherever you need to go, you have the ability to use this paint product. All right, so I'm just keeping going here what's on my roller. I'm not gonna add anything else, there's no need. So that covered right up that steering wheel hole. So now let me pull back and show you this door panel. So this was where the actual door panel had been broken right here. This was, I don't know if something had caught this, but there was a line broken here. And of course the material frayed up. And I'm gonna add a little product to this. I may have to end up painting most of this door panel to hide that on a flat surface. I sanded it using this electric sander here. As you can see, when you roll through, you get a little bit of a bubble. Just keep on rolling, just a light pressure and a light roll will let you just feather and blend this out perfectly. And again, this color matches this so, so well. When it dries, it'll be the perfect sheen of leather and vinyl. These, of course, are vinyl. And uh, here's the same door panel on the, stere on the uh, stereo cover here, speaker cover. I'm gonna hit that with a little paint. And the reason why is once that dries, these have faded over time because they're a fabric. They're just as, you know, they just make those out of the lightest weight of a nylon that stretches over that little piece that snaps over the actual speaker itself. And his foot, and I'm sure just someone's shoe sitting up against that, has made, made that kind of peel up there. But once we paint it, it's going to stiffen up enough that we can get in there and cut all that off and trim all of that little furriness away, even using a little razor. But if you do that right now, I believe uh, getting that back where it's firm enough that you can clip it away will be easier than it would be now because the hairs are very thin and they're very hard to... I tried to cut them with a scissor and they wouldn't cut at all because they just bend over. Now I think they will after they stiffen up being that they're painted. So let's hope that works. And I'm going to see if I can get another coat on this piece here, as well as the steering wheel, or the whole thing, I'm gonna hit it with a second coat. It dries extremely fast, and today it's raining here, 
and I was determined to get this done. Just because Melissa said I wouldn't get it done, you know I'm gonna get that done. She knew that build a fire under me to get it done today. And of course, Mitch wanted his car back because he wants to see it. He's so excited about it. All right, so I'm gonna see if I can put on a little more paint right here. Still just lighter. Wasn't really ready for that second coat, but we're gonna do it anyway. Put some more in the back. Now, once this is out in the daylight, you may see that you might need to go over it and add some more. It's just difficult back here seeing, even with the artificial light and this light we have. It's not strong enough to give me the light I need, truly. Okay, so this is the golden ticket right here. Putting this roller in here and going over this is what makes it so fantastic. Using the true applicator, going to give you the same effect. It's just easy on this good flat surface just to roll this out. And this whole front of this seat was totally broken up and damaged. So when that gets good and dry, it's going to look super nice. Now something else to take note of is when you're working and you see that you haven't added enough product and you still feel like you have some areas that could benefit for, from a little bit of uh, more of the bonding material, you can go in there and add that right, even after you have painted. The only thing you need to do is give it a light scuffing, sand it up just a little bit, uh, use a deglosser and wipe off any of the particle pieces that are there and then add on some more of the uh, compound in there to get it a little smoother. Take your wet glove again and rub that down so you can get it nice and smooth as possible. Allow that to dry, sand again. And you can continue to finesse something, especially on a big flat surface like that chair, that bottom there, or even a golf cart seat, something that's smooth that is gonna be reflecting the light and show that it's a bit uneven. You can get it as smooth as you want to continue to work on the product. And the sanding is so easy using. This hand sander is incredible even though that's the condition of the pad that we have and that we could find it not even a good one, but uh, there was plenty enough here to get it done. So if you have a new one, you might not want to turn it up full blast until you see what's gonna happen. The material is firm and hard enough that it won't uh, totally tear it up. So you'll find that uh, you can put full pressure on sanding once you kind of get the, uh, understand how much it's going to take off. So just start slow and learn how much it's going to remove depending on what grit. And I think this is probably a medium grit pad here. So that's my suggestion to you. And uh, you can get it looking pretty awesome. So I can't wait to show you this after it dries. And this could probably I don't know, it depends. After this fully gets totally dry, it won't be this shiny. And I think you're gonna see that it's gonna look pretty good. And if we wanna sand it some more, we can do that and even add some more paint just to level it on out just a little bit more. So um, I'll take some great photos of this and show you the before and the after. And I think you'll be amazed at where this seat started and where it ended up right here. And uh, maybe get on another coat of paint on it just here in a bit, cause it's not really dry enough to do too much more. And I look forward to sharing that video with you and uh, putting it all together in one place so you can see it. So if you are interested in getting yourself a free sample of the all-in-one paint, comment right here in this video and I'll send you a link to get yourself a free sample. Or if you'd prefer, you can log right on to allinonepaint.com forward slash free sample. And you can go right to that link and pick yourself up that free sample. You'll have enough to paint your front door, a vanity, a good sized piece of furniture. I just saw a lady share a full china cabinet that she did and uh, she did it in the beautiful color polo and she just shared that with me. I wish I could call out your name. I was, just can't remember who and what your name was. I so apologize, but I'm sure she will be posting it because she was elated that she was able to paint that with the eight ounce sample. It will cover 35 to 40 square feet. So. It's a good size, uh, the sample's only eight ounces, but it will cover a tremendous amount of square footage because it is really, really pigmented and does such a beautiful job. I think you'll be amazed. So give it a try. And if you wanna use the Restore Coat products, check that out too at restorecoat.com and see for yourself some other of our projects that we've completed. And uh, we'll be glad to share with you uh, again, this video once it is all put back together so you can see the start and the finish. Well, I hope you have had a great, great week and uh, even a better weekend. So I hope to see you very, very soon. So we'll look forward to that. See you again. Bye.